today we're asking the question, what exactly is an artinus test? Why do I need one? And why are they more commonplace now on UK and Ireland building sites? So if you're a worker on a UK or Ireland building site, you may see fan systems such as this more commonplace. Um, reasons being number one, they're required under the building regulations for new properties. And number two, for homeowners, it's very important to find out where there are any cold infiltration spots of air, any drafts that can be uh, sealed during the construction process, obviously to um, save energy and reduce heating bills as well. So the first stage of the whole process is to seal the building up. So that means trickle vents, for example, all need closed. Um, windows, obviously, as well need closed. Um, and internal doors need wedged open. And external windows and doors are just closed but not sealed for the test. This also means things like purpose-provided ventilation, such as cooker hoods. And uh, also mechanical ventilation, heat recovery systems need sealed. It's also a good idea to turn those off as well before the, uh, the fan pressure is turned on. So once the house is uh, sealed, temporary sealed, ready for the test, the, uh, the fan system is then put in place in a front door or a suitable door. The, uh, the fan system goes into a frame that's uh, set inside uh, an airtight membrane uh, which is put in place and sized to the door then the fan sits in place um, in the ring, as you will see here. So the building volume is entered into the controller and we're ready to go. The uh, software does most of the heavy lifting. What happens is there's a bias or a static pressure taken before the test starts that accounts for any uh, wind outside and measures that. Um, just takes it off or adds it on to the results at the end. The fan system then is pressurizing the house. It works up to, in this case, it depressurizes up to 50 pascals. That's the difference of pressure between inside and outside. And it's also the pressure that uh, the result, the air tightness of the house is given at to the developer or the homeowner. And that it's expressed in meters cubed per hour of airflow through the building divided into the meter squared of the envelope of the building. That's the total walls, floors, roof and ceilings. Well, that's it. That's the test finished. Um, a good result all around. Um, what we can do now, pack up, go home, or if the client or the builder wants any analysis of where the building is leaking or where it may be able to be improved, uh, we can do that. Uh, we can go around, we can depressurize the building again, turn the fan on to a set speed and find leaks in the building through air coming in the way, usually a cold draft. Um, you can't eliminate these completely but they're always commonplace, especially in block built cavity construction buildings that uh, you, can, you can always find, you can always do something about. Today, now it's a bit late maybe to remedy those things. Um, you should maybe test earlier in the building construction phase, but um, there's always something you can do, always like you actually can find in, uh, in developer built houses. So we hope this short video has been helpful to understand a little of what the process of an air tightness test is. Um, as always, if it's very basic, we've probably missed some things, so please, if there's any questions, please email us or in the comment section below ask questions and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and um, hopefully in the future we'll be doing other videos on finding leakage paths in timber frame and also masonry dwellings and hopefully that will be of some help or of some interest to uh, some so thank you very much for your time <laughs>